One of the biggest things that I hear from my clients is that they just want to know that they mattered in that relationship. So once you go through a breakup, the hardest thing for them to really process is that the time that they spent with that person didn't really mean anything. So they want to get even, right? And, and what they really want to know is if their ex missed them. So they asked me how to make their ex miss them. And I'm like, you know, I don't really like playing those type of games, but I can understand why you want to kind of get even, especially if the relationship lasted a while, if it was something that, you know, you really felt like you had a deep connection with that person. So in today's video, I'm going to give you the tips that I usually give my clients, which is five ways to make your ex miss you. Thank you for sticking around. If this is your first time viewing me, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel by clicking that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you're notified for all the newest coaching content. In today's video, we're going to talk about five ways to make your ex miss you. And I don't want to do this in a manipulative way. If anything, I want to give you guys these tips so you can boost your self-esteem a little bit. Because once you get broken up with, you really get hit. You know, your confidence level just plummets. If it was someone that left you for someone else, or if it was a breakup that was really abrupt, and you really just can't handle not knowing what this person's doing. So I'm going to give you guys those five tips. Now, it's important to know that these tips will only work if the person has just a little bit of attraction for you left. Right now, if it was a relationship where they have, uh, the relationship had just was very unhealthy, if it ran its course or if their attraction for you has plummeted, I don't care how many of these tips you use, they won't work, right? So you have to make sure that this person is still actually somewhat attracted to you. If you were someone that got out of shape, if you, you know, lived together and it was just a really unhealthy environment and you were button heads all the time, and guess what? They probably won't miss you. They're probably like good riddance after this breakup. But if it was something that was a healthy dynamic and you know you felt like this was still there was still something left in a the tank then these are the five tips number 1 is you want to actually give them the breakup i know you've heard this so many times from so many different people but you really want to do that you want to give them the breakup and not only just give it to them you want to do it as quickly as possible i know it's going to be hard because usually when people come into my videos and they feel like I've already messed up. I didn't give them the breakup right away. I, I fought, I begged, I bargained. But still, it's never too late to do what you should have done to begin with, which is give them that breakup because it makes them feel like you actually heard them. You actually understand where they're coming from. And it really kind of boosts your attraction level. And the reason why is because it puts them on like the defense because if they broke up with you, and they see that you're doing okay, it's gonna make them question, wait, why, why did you just give me the breakup? And if it was someone that has been used to breaking up with people in the past and you actually give it to them right away, you're gonna be doing something that no one else in the past have done. Whenever I, I suggest this to my clients and they actually do it, you know, that's when they start to see that their ex are checking their social media. They're starting to inquire about them through their friends and family. They reach out to them after a certain amount of time when they felt like, they had their freedom. They went out and did their own thing. And I know in the comment section, the people are going to say, well, you don't want to actually take that person back if they're out here and they're doing this and that. But who cares? You know, let's be honest here. You don't belong to anyone. No one is your property. Give them that breakup. Let them do what they're going to do. And that's number one. Number two, stay consistent with your social media. I've worked with a couple clients that... Um, actually really switch up their social media posting. So if they were someone that was constantly posting positive quotes or if they're constantly posting funny things, you don't want to all of a sudden start posting breakup quotes and you know different things that kind of tip off that you're not feeling in your right mindset. You want to continue to post the way that you normally post. And if worse come to worse, it's not a bad default to just completely go ghost on social media. But if you feel like there's something that's going to tip that person off and you don't want to show your hand, keep posting at the regular consistent rate that you were posting before. You also don't want to go hyper posting either after you guys have broken up because then they're going to also know something's going on. You know, And, and I've had guys in the past that 
actually start stepping up their posting patterns and posting them going out and I'm doing this and doing that with a bunch of different people. And they're actually trying to make their ex jealous and that will always backfire in your face. If you want to make them miss you, that's going to make them resent you. That's going to make them feel like you're just disgusting in their eyes. And if, and if they had any type of, you know, feelings left for you, it's going to make them feel some type of, it's going to make them angry with you. And guess what? That's when you see yourself getting unfriended and blocked or deleted or whatever else is going to happen. But that's what you really don't want to do. You want to make sure that you are uh, staying consistent with your posting. And if you are, if you're struggling to know what the right balance is, reach out to a coach, reach out to me and ask me, what do I think you should do? I've seen it happen a lot of times. Number three, you want to level up and actually show that off on social media. If you were someone that actually posted once a day, twice a day, you know, if you were someone that was posting workout videos or business things that were going on, keep that same pace, keep that same energy, because what attracted them to you in the first place is what they're going to start to miss if you continue to do it at that consistency. But if you actually start doubling down, that's not healthy. Keep going at the same pace. It's almost like, hey, you were with me while I was on this journey and you decided to exit my life. I'm still going at that same speed, that same tempo. And then they know they're going to know where home's at. Right? They're going to know where home is at. They're going to come back to your page or whatever they're going to do, you know, kind of stalk on you a little bit. And you got to keep doing at the same pace. And that's number three. You want to level up, lose the weight that they complained about. Post that new job promotion that you got, you know, get the engagement from people on your friends and your family about, you know, what what's going on in your life as far as that. And that's what I really mean about level up on social media. Show that you're living a happy and fulfilled life. If you guys aren't friends, so be it. Let their friends and family see it. And number four is get active. You don't have to show that part off on social media, but if you get active, you get those endorphins going. It's going to put you in a much healthier headspace and it's going to show up in every aspect of your life. It's going to show up in your work life. It's going to show up on social media. They're going to see that. They're going to they're going to see that you're not the person that they left. Many a times when people leave you, it's because you've changed and you may have gotten depressed or you may have gotten complacent. So if you show that aspect of yourself off, it's going to make them want to come back and just kind of inquire about what's going on. You know, how are you doing? Where are you at? Now, I, I left you at a state that I felt like you had lost yourself. But now this is the person that I was attracted to to begin with. And the final tip, number five, is to become unavailable and become real short with them. And why do I say that? It's because essentially what happened, and this doesn't matter. You know, I don't care what attachment style this is. This goes all across attachment. I don't care if you're an avoidant or if you're anxious or whatever they are. You become unavailable to them and you show that you have value to your time. Your time is valuable to you, right? And they downgraded their subscription. They had the, the premium version of Netflix. They don't have that anymore. Now they get the trial again. Now they have to inquire about your life through social media or through friends. Become unavailable. If they text you, don't be mean. Don't be curt. But just be short. Be busy. Be someone that they knew that they messed up with because they had this unlimited access to you. You sent funny memes, funny stories about your day. And all of a sudden, that's not there anymore. Now, those are my five tips. I hope it's not too generic for you guys. But on this channel, we focus mainly on attachment styles. And I can tell you all across the board, if they're dismissive, if they're anxious, the time frame may be different, but that's exactly how it usually plays out. And that's what essentially makes them miss you. So if you found this video of any value, please like, comment, and share. Reach out to me on my other social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, as I am Coach Court. Always remember, when you go be love, you'll never have to find it. Namaste.